Hey everyone. All right, here's another scale lesson, some more theory stuff. We're going to talk about the second position of the C major scale. Um, we're just going to talk about positions, not modes, in this first set of exercises because modes gets a little more complicated. It's sort of mostly how you apply the different positions to help your playing out and to be able to play in kind of unique new ways. Okay, so let's just start with the second position. Now, what the positions are about is they're mainly to expand your capability of playing sort of the right notes on the neck of the guitar. So last lesson we did the C major scale. In the first position, Ionian means it starts, actually, you know what, I'm not gonna get into those uh, those mode names because um, it's not it's only Ionian if used in a certain context okay so in this case we'll just keep we'll stick with just calling it by the numbers first position so okay so first position that means we're starting on the first note of the scale C okay and uh, so that we went over that last lesson. I gave you guys some different exercises to do while going over that. Uh, you know, to double picking, triple picking, sixteenths. And then we're getting faster gradually throughout it. And then go to sixteenth picking. Gradually getting a little bit faster to whatever level you can handle. If you find that you're trying to go through that and it's just too sloppy and messy, then you're just going too fast and you need to practice the scale slower more. Okay, so the second position, as it infers, it kind of um, basically, well, you start on your second note of the scale, a D. Okay, and so if our first position basically lets us play between the seventh and tenth fret of the guitar, the second position is going to take us from the tenth fret all the way up to the fourteenth. So then by the time you know these two scales, you'll be able to know how to play in C major from the fifth or the seventh all the way up to the fourteenth. So it's a good stretch of the neck that you can have. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start with our first finger on the E string on the 10th fret. So 10, then 12, then 13 with our pinky. Okay, and the next string down, we're going to go 10, 12, 14 with our pinky. A bit of a stretch there. Next string down, 10, 12, 14. Next string down, 10, 12. Next string down, 10, 12, 13 with the pinky again. Next string down, 10, 12, 13. So the common sort of denominator of that whole scale is on every string down, you're going to play 10, 12. So 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13. Okay. Not too bad. There's a bit of a stretch there, which is good. I think it's good for um, for young players to start reaching for things that might seem a little little difficult to stretch to at first. It helps working on uh, basically your finger stretch capacity. Okay, so I would start this. Let's let's go over the exercise of what you can do with this one. Now I've got my metronome up a little bit, 50. Um, I'm going a bit faster, able to get through the 32nd notes on this. But again, speed is not, you know, I'm working on speed because I'm a bit more advanced, but, um, you know, and there's certainly some players that are much more advanced than I am that can play much faster than this. Uh, speed is something you work at as, as you feel that you really have the muscle memory of a scale down, like you really know it. You're not guessing, you're not thinking about it, and then you can really start to push that speed. But start working with your metronome and always keep it consistent first. So, we're going to get rid of the double picking and triple and quadruple picking on each note portion of this exercise. And I'm going to add in a new thing, uh, just basically walking up to the third and back. Okay, so we'll start with just, let's go through the scale with the quarters. So we're playing on every beat, practicing the strength involved, practicing the stretch. down picks. When you're picking slow, get in the habit of just picking down. Mm. Just about missed that one note. Looks like I have, to, I have to practice my muscle memory as well. Okay, so now if 
you hear that note, you'll hear that if we go down to a C, how it kind of resolves. Our ear wants to go back to C, because this is the C major scale, just in a different position, just starting on the D note of the scale. We're still only playing the notes that are in the C major scale, which is the letter notes C to C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, now let's go, um, we'll do um, eighth notes. One, two, three, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and now you're using down and or down up picking here. The rest of these exercises you'll generally go down, up, down, up. Eighth note triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a okay cool sixteenths one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one okay good one little miss note there so if I feel like I miss some, I might do it again. Okay. Um, I can go now. If you feel like that's fast enough for you and you want to stop there at 16th, that's pretty good. I'm going to try um, 16th note triplets. So, so it's a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three. is 30 seconds start to get a little tough for me but not so bad that I, I don't think I could keep kind of working on it so one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a sure it was perfectly in time there but I got the basic speed it's definitely at the very top level of the speed I can do so so that's that's what you want to get to where it's like it's kind of pushing your challenge level but you can basically do it without too many messed up flopped notes okay now let's talk about this walking up thirds exercise okay so we're gonna start on our, our we're gonna go basically you're gonna go up to not including your first note so you play on the first note you're gonna go up to up two, back one. Back one, up two, back one. Up two, back one. Up two, back one. Up two, back. Up two, back. Up two. Just my muscle memory. Back, up, two, back, up, two, back, up, turn it around. Down, two, back. quarters it's pretty slow going sometimes you can make mistakes when you just let your mind drift a little bit Yeah, quarter notes. So one and two and a little quicker. It's a little too fast. This is why it's always good to 
have that metronome. And if you ever wonder why, just spend any time in the studio. And you'll know what I mean about playing along to a click track. Mixed up a little bit there while I was talking to you. Another mixed note. fast enough for anybody just starting this exercise that might even be too fast only go up to the stage that you think you can handle okay or reduce your metronome speed I'm only at 50 here so it's not too too fast okay now let's talk if you want to get a little bit faster I think I can basically only go up the next step so a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two eighth note or sorry sixteenth note triples two and a three and a four and a one. at the end there. Let's try one more time. Okay, so still a bit sloppy there and I'm not even going to play you guys 30 second notes with this exercise because I'm just not there yet. But hey, that's why we practice, right? That's what it's all about. There's gonna be mistakes along the way, um, and you wanna push your speed, you wanna push your agility, but that's just all part of the process. So I hope you enjoyed this. Tune in, next we'll go into the third position, which is actually the third and fourth position kind of combined into one. And yeah, stick with me, and we'll uh, keep rocking these scales and theory lessons. Thanks a lot.